Hey everybody, my name is Andrew Heisley with Security National Mortgage, and I wanted to bring up what question I'm being really asked the most right now. And you can probably guess it. What's going on with rates? Are they going to continue to go up or are they coming down? So the real answer is we don't fully know. The Fed's going to come out and release another high care shortly. We think they've kind of stabilized recently, which is good. The average rate right now on a VA, and I just looked that up, across the nation is a 5.25% if you're curious. Um, but what I can do instead of focus on rate, I try to steer my clients to look at payment and cost of waiting and those type of things. Because a lot of people are saying, should I buy now? Should I not? And most people are like, I'm not going to buy or even thinking about it because the rates are so high and inflation and all that. And we're scared. But rent continues to increase. And of course, prices are increasing, which is good for selling. So here's something to think about. So I did a little research for you. And this is what I, I tend to say when I get asked this question. So today for a purchase price, of 350,000, if you can see this, with an average rate of five and a quarter, which is where we're at, the payment on that, give or take, would be 2,245.73. Okay, that's taxes in uh, your county and all inclusive, okay? If you were to wait a year and the market goes up 10%, and let's talk about this, the market went up 22% last year. So let's just say it just went up 10%, not even half that, okay? Then the purchase price is now gonna be 385,000. Let's just assume rates come down like we're going to wait till rates come down well let's, let's say they drop like what would be a good rate right now i think 3.875 so that's what i did on this this uh scenario 3.875 but look at the payment because of the price going up 10 percent, the payment is now two thousand one hundred forty five dollars and twenty cents i don't know if you can see that two two four five versus two one four five it's a hundred dollars difference so my question is would you want the home to increase another what is that? $35,000 that you're losing out on equity for $100 a month? I mean, kind of do the math. I've got a lot of clients saying, no, you know what? You're right. Even with rates being high, you know, we, we're going to act now. And what I tell them is, remember, you're married to the purchase price. So when you buy it for $385, you can't rebuy it, right? But if you buy it for a five and a quarter rate, you're not married to that rate. As soon as rates come down, when and if they do, of course, you can refinance and we do predict that is going to happen how long that's going to take that's up for debate right now here's a little bit depressing news what did it used to be because you've waited it used to be market went up 22 percent, so it was 276 500 a year ago rate average rate was 2.75 payment was 13.96 that kind of hurts but this is where we're at right now and still a good buy so that's what i say when a lot of people ask me questions where rates are going it does matter if rates increase, but you're not going to stay in that rate. Majority of all homeowners refinance and the price of the home going up, I think, is more detriment than the rates going up. So if you have any questions, um, they'll pass my information along and give me a shout. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.